Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Browning. My name is uh, Catherine Perry. I'm a professor of French uh, and Francophone literatures and cultures here, but tonight I'm speaking as a member of the Nanovic Institute for European Studies, who is uh, responsible with gender studies for bringing Leslie Udwin and her film that we're going to watch tonight. So it's a joy and an extraordinary privilege to say a few words of welcome for our guest tonight. Uh, Leslie Edwin, who has done us the honor of visiting us for the third time in 15 years. Leslie Edwin is an independent British filmmaker based in London. No stranger to campaigning films which proved to be powerful tools for change, she produced Who Bombed Birmingham, which directly led to the release of the Birmingham Six after 17 years of wrongful imprisonment, as well as Sitting Targets, which chronicled her real-life struggles against Britain's most notorious criminal landlord, during which she set a legal precedent in the High Court of England. Her feature films for her production company, Assassin Films, include award-winning films West is West, Mrs. Radcliffe's Revolution, and East is East. And um, Leslie Edwin came to present East is East and then West is West here, and that's how we know her. Um, East is East was war awarded the British Academy Award for Best British Film, as well as 35 other prestigious awards worldwide. Leslie herself received the London Critics Circle Produ Produ Producer sorry, of the Year Award. Her first documentary and her debut as a director, the film India's Daughter, which we're going to see tonight, has been critically acclaimed and it was banned by the Indian government. It definitely provoked a global discussion about gender equality and the violation of the rights of women and girls across the world. Leslie is currently advising the United Nations Human Rights Office on a global education mission called Equality Studies Global Initiative. Just recently in April, Leslie was voted by the New York Times the number two most impactful woman of 2015 after Hillary Clinton. <laughs> so only second to Hillary Clinton. Two weeks ago, she was awarded the prestigious Swedish Anna Lind Human Rights Prize, previously won by Madeleine Albright. So it's my great honor to introduce Leslie Unwood. She's going to say a few words about her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and genuinely, the honor is all mine and the thrill and the pleasure of coming back to what I consider to be my Nanavik family. I have been here so many times, and pretty much with um, nearly all my films, um, it genuinely feels like coming home. And coming home is something that I so long for because I've been away from my kids, my husband, and anything familiar or comfortable for almost three years now. So this is a beautiful oasis for me. I've had a wonderful day interacting with some students. I'm so happy to be here. And thank you all for coming tonight and a huge, huge thank you, as always, to the Nanovic Institute. And this time, a massive vote of thanks also to the Gender Department and the Browning Cinema I'm not going to say much about the film in advance of you seeing it because actually I believe the best way to see a film is untrammeled by baggage or preconceptions. Um, a housekeeping note, please turn off your cell phones. And please don't leave at the end of the film. The credits are going to roll right through, partly because I believe that is respectful to crew members who have worked long and hard on a film. Partly also in this instance because it's a film that packs quite a punch. And I think it's a good thing to have a couple of moments 
to really <coughs> process and <coughs> center a bit before what I hope will be a scintillating discussion. Please stay for the Q&A. There are so many pressing, urgent, and important things to say about the issue that the film deals with. And the only one thing I will say to contextualize your seeing this film, <coughs> the film is called India's Daughter. It happens to be set in India. You'll learn later why I made the film about this particular case. That is coincidental. The problem that the film examines is endemic the world over. There is not one country exempt from it. It is a film we must, each one of us around the world, seriously introspect about and look to our own statistics, to our own record. In this case, the one in four girls and women on college campuses in America who are raped. It's not a problem that happens to those people over there. It's a problem that engulfs us. We are all India's daughters. Please stay for the Q&A. Look forward to the discussion later. Thank you so much. <laughs>